we need to determine the circumference of the given circle. And the circumference is the same as the perimeter, which would be the distance around the circle, highlighted here in orange. And there are two formulas that can be used to determine the circumference of a circle. We have the circumference is equal to pi times d, where d is the diameter of the circle. And we can also use 2 times pi times r, where r is the radius of the circle. So in this problem, since we're given the diameter as 9 feet, the distance from here to here, passing through the center of the circle, we'll use this first formula to determine the circumference. Again, we have the diameter is equal to 9 feet. So the circumference will be equal to pi times 9 feet, which is equal to 9 pi feet. And we're often asked to round the circumference to the nearest tenth or hundredth. So let's go ahead and get a decimal approximation for this. If we press 9 and then second exponent key here, notice how the pi appears on the screen. We can press enter. So if we round to the hundredths, the circumference is approximately 28.27 feet. Let's take a look at a second example. Notice on this problem we're given the radius of the circle, so we'll use the circumference formula 2 times pi times r. So here the radius is equal to 3 inches. So the circumference will be equal to 2 times pi times 3 inches. And just in case you don't have a pi key on your calculator, we often approximate pi as 3.14. So here we can see the circumference would be equal to 6 pi inches. And let's go ahead and get our decimal approximation on the calculator. So 6 times pi is approximately 18.85 inches. And just to show this calculation here where we use an approximation for pi, we'd have 2 times 3.14 times 3. And notice how the answer is slightly different. For 6 pi, if we round to the hundredths, we have 18.85. Here, if we round pi before we multiply, we only have 18.84. So it is important to read the directions because if they do ask you to use 3.14 for pi, you don't want to use the pi key on the calculator because, because it could possibly give you a slightly different answer when you round. We'll go ahead and use the more accurate value of approximately 18.85 inches.